Today's Sunshine Note is titled Romantic Musings from the Encyclopedia Britannica. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation, for prophecy never had its origins in the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 20 and 21 The little love letter oozed with mushy gushiness. I don't know which of my friends had found it, but it was definitely one of the most nauseating pieces of romantic fluff that had ever been composed. As we all stood around reading over each other's shoulders, we came to a poem on the last page. As one of my buddies read it out loud in his best Shakespearean impression, just to give it the proper air, I began to feel as if I had heard all this before. Halfway through the poem, I knew I had heard it before. So I grabbed an encyclopedia and turned to a poem written by Emily Dickinson. This wannabe Romeo had plagiarized a love poem. Suddenly the owner of the letter, a fiery red-haired girl, exploded into the crowd yelling at all of us, spitting venom in all directions. But he copied the whole thing out of the encyclopedia, I shouted, handing her the volume. She turned a deeper shade of pink and stomped off in search of lover boy. In the world of school papers and reports, if the teacher finds out that you've been copying someone else's work, you can be pretty sure you're not going to fare well on that paper. But when it comes to God's word, the question has always been, did God write the Bible word for word, or did the men writing it just kind of made it up? The answer, according to Peter, is a little bit of both. Inspiration for writing the Bible wasn't a word for word dictation in which the human suddenly turned into a robot. If that was how it worked, then having a human write would have been an unnecessary step. Peter says the Bible writers were carried along or given divine thoughts, but left up to their own experiences and words in writing those thoughts down. For some reason, God felt it was important to include humans in the writing of His Word, so He allowed them to participate in its creation. I find that reassuring because we know that nothing got lost in the translation. God made sure that they communicated his idea accurately without losing that human touch. Like Jesus himself, the Bible is a great combination of human and divine. So when you read it, trust that it's come to you exactly the way God wanted it to. May God bless you today.